The United Nations, the signature institution of international law in the second half of the 20th century, was established in an earnest attempt to ensure that the horrors inflicted on the world during the Second World War never occurred again. It is sad reality that almost immediately after the end of the Second World War, one of the largest nations which had been part of the formation of the United Nations turned to an aggressive, expansionist form of communist dictatorship and launched the Cold War. The Cold War was cold in name only. It did not involve world war, certainly, but time after time the nations of the West were required to take to the battlefield to contain communist expansion. One of those occasions was the Greek Civil War, which was fought between the lawful government of Greece and communist rebels, who were backed principally by the communist governments of Albania and Yugoslavia. Great Britain sent a number of warships towards Greece in order to support the lawful government, and two of those vessels struck mines which had been laid in the Albanian Sea. The vessels were seriously damaged and lives were lost. Great Britain returned with mine-sweeping vessels and removed the mines. They then sought compensation from Albania. The court confirmed the principle of innocent passage as part of the laws of the sea. Innocent passage says that any vessel, even a warship, is entitled to pass through national waters, provided it does so without any aggressive intentions. This means that the first two warships were entitled to pass through Albanian waters without being struck by mines. The court said, It is shown by the evidence that the ships were not proceeding in combat formation, but in line, one after the other. The main guns were in the line of the ship, which is the normal position of these guns on a cruiser, both in harbour and at sea. In the light of this evidence, the court cannot accept that the position of the guns was inconsistent with the rules of innocent passage. The court did find that Great Britain had violated the sovereignty of Albania by destroying the mines, but ultimately Albania was required to pay a substantial amount of compensation to Great Britain. However, because international law is so weak and is not enforceable, it took almost 50 years for Albania to settle its debt. Mm -hmm.